great news, my little Skyfire CNC machine is back up and running. G'day, I'm Aaron and you're watching the Design Creativity and Technology channel. Well, little uh, quick update guys, um, my little Skyfi, she's back up and running and I'm super stoked. Uh, so yeah guys, look, I wanna just thank everyone that's come out uh, from the CNC community to share uh, their thoughts and support and that sort of thing. Uh, especially people, you know, who I've mentioned before, uh, Peter, uh, JP from France, also Jason over in the States, um, Otto as well, Otto from Eon Machining. But I really gotta say a huge thank you to Yarn Boss. Now Yarn Boss is the USA distributor for Skyfire. Now Yarn, Yarn and I have no association whatsoever. But Yarn took it on his own merit to reach out to me. He contacted me via um, Messenger and he said, Aaron, what can I do to help? Now I think that's bloody fantastic service, guys. I, you know, what a top bloke Yarn is to reach out and say, look, I'm prepared to help you, Aaron, what can I do? So thank you, Yarn, I owe you a big one. Now, another thing I need to mention, I need to uh, give a big shout out and a thank you to um, Pete uh, from Token Tools. Now, he helped me uh, finalise the post processor for this AdTech controller and it's been working splendidly. So thank you very much, buddy. I really appreciate that. So what I'll do now, I'll flip over to some other footage that I shot uh, when the pneumatic cylinder turned up. Uh, and as you, you know, as you know, guys, I purchased the uh, SMC cylinder through... Uh, their agent in Sydney, Sydney, Australia, and it got shipped down here last week. I unboxed it, uh, fitted it up onto the machine, and uh, yeah, just um, put it all back together. No problems. It definitely runs a lot smoother now. Um, but yeah, so anyway, when I, when I put it all back together, guys, I'll just duck out of the camera here for a minute. So when I put it all back together again, guys, uh, in the first tool change, you wouldn't believe it, I broke a tool holder. Um, and they're plastic, they're, they're not the best. Really it needs, uh, I think, uh, Otto was on the right track. Otto was redesigning his own one, similar to the Haas, to the Haas umbrella tool changer. And I think that would um, you know, work a lot smoother than these uh, plastic ones here. But thank you, Yarn. Yarn's offered to, uh, he's in China at the moment, he's gonna pick me up some and uh, express post them over to me. I only broke one, so what I did, I swapped it out for too late. I don't use too late, I keep the probe in too late, but I take it out because I don't want to get water in it. Um, look guys, I need to clear the air about a few things. My, la my last video about the sky fire breaking down on me really caused a stir amongst the uh, CNC community. As I said previously guys, um, my machine's been working faultlessly, not a problem, apart from those few issues that I fixed, okay? But there's, uh, since that la latest video guys, it really, really, it, uh, it went berserk. Lots of people, you know, singing out, you know, don't buy one, they'll take your money and all that sort of stuff. The only advice I can offer you is if, if you're gonna buy a Skyfire machine and, you know, good for you if you wanna buy one or if you wanna buy whatever you wanna buy, a Haas, Sile, Tormac, whatever, okay, it's your choice. I just suggest, guys, you use an agent, okay? So if you're gonna buy a Skyfire in the USA, contact Yarn Boss. Um, you know, if you wanted to buy a Haas in Australia, well, you'd con contact Alphex CNC. Uh, going out on your own trying to import one, guys, is a little bit of a drama. Now, it's, it's achievable, you can do it, it's not a problem. But all I say to you is that before uh, you pay any finalised money, uh, so usually when you import a machine from China, guys, I would suggest you use someone uh, like an escrow agent agency. Um, as you know, I bought mine through Alibaba. I paid 50% up front, and I had to pay 50% uh, at, at completion. Now, before I paid that second instalment, guys, there was a few conditions I wanted to see. I wanted to see a video of the machine running, and I also wanted to see a bill of lading. A bill of lading is a shipping term for when it gets uh, booked onto the ship and all the insurances, all that. And only then did I pay my second instalment. Now, if you're gonna go through an agent, you don't have any of those problems, guys, because the agent covers all that for you. 
he is responsible, guys, okay? Uh, the other thing is, guys, a lot of people, uh, <laughs> it's biz bizarre, this uh, social media world, guys. A lot, a lot of people getting on the bandwagon saying, I was kicked out of the, uh, out of the Skyfire CNC forums. Guys, that is totally untrue. Um, I'm not a forum type of person. I was in it for a little while. I opted out about a month, two months ago. Uh, I'm, I'm flat out, guys. My full-time job is a school teacher. I do this for a hobby at home. I don't have time to be sitting through forums, uh, you know, answering questions on top of my own social media channel like YouTube and Instagram, where I always try to respond to everybody who comments or reaches out to me. So, guys, that's untrue, okay? I'm still good mates with Jason. He's the one that runs the... Uh, the Skyfire USA site. Jason, if you're listening, mate, I'm sure you'll support me with that. Uh, Jason even reached out to me, guys, over this. The other one, guys, there was another Skyfire group, which is uh, run by JP. There's no problems there. JP in France, him and I are sweet. Um, yeah, guys, so just thought I'd clear the air. Uh, let's jump in, let's go for a run, and uh, let's see this little baby in action, okay? <laughs> 